Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class George Norton of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit. Here today we're looking to show you our displays that we take with us to trade shows all around the country. If you're not able to see us though, we wanted to be able to show you virtually through this platform. Here today I have Staff Sergeant Gossett from the Custom Firearms Shop and he's going to help show us around some of the cool things that we have here at our STEM display. So Staff Sergeant Gossett, can you please uh, talk us about what you have here? Absolutely. Uh, so here we have uh, our first table that uh, shows the technology behind the custom firearm shop. Here we're able to uh, basically think of an idea. We're going to be able to um, draw it up on a computer software uh, to tailor the shooter's needs, whether they need a custom part or we're doing research and development. Uh, we're going to be able to draw it up and then plug it in to the 3D printer to be able to produce custom parts. That's really cool. We're able to support our competitors by giving them custom parts that help them become more competitive and win competitions. Absolutely. So every shooter is different. Uh, they're going to have to have their own, you know, custom parts to be able to be able to perform at the highest level. That's excellent. So we have our two-pronged mission of winning competitions and also supporting the warfighter. How would you say this is able to support the warfighter in a way? Uh, so to support the warfighter, really, uh, we've learned so much through competition. Uh, that's really our basis of uh, learning, you know, what we need to do uh, to increase our uh, capabilities in competition to transfer that over to the combat side. That's excellent. Uh, so really it, it just, it starts at the competition level and then progresses on. So I know the Custom Firearm Shop has printed off a lot of really awesome things to support our competitors. Uh, what are some specific items that you can think of that kind of stand out in your mind? A lot of the shooters, um, they need specific parts to be able to perform at the highest level for themselves individually. Uh, so off the top of my head, uh, there's been a, quite a few shooters that need custom pistol grips, um, you know, different like sorts of cheek pieces that we can kind of tweak the heights with, um, as well as custom grips um, all together. We're actually able to scan out um, a mold and take that into the software and use that to print it out uh, directly into the machine. So um, even as far as like a right-handed shooter versus a left-hand shooter, we're actually able to scan something and flip it to be able to um, you know, accommodate anything really. Wow, so if I had one grip, you guys were able to scan the grip and Basically, make multiple copies of that so we're not having to go out and purchase more of those grips. Right. That's excellent. Yep, that is correct. Awesome. And, if, and if a shooter has, you know, two or three different guns, they're going to be able to scan one time and, you know, be able to reproduce um, that grip. That's excellent. Well, what else we got? Okay, so here's our centerpiece of our display. Uh, so here we can showcase um, a couple different things as far as firearms to ammo to optics and sights, uh, and a little bit of reloading basics. So starting over here, we have a couple different examples of sights. Uh, here is um, an example of what you would see on like a Mark 12 designated marksman rifle. Uh, here we have a M16 National Match iron sight that was actually uh, modified in the custom firearm shop to be able to um, produce a little bit more or finer adjustment. Right up front we have just standard U.S. Army calibers uh, from 12 gauge shotgun, 9mm, 5.56, 7.62, 300 wind mag, and 50 cal. Uh, and we have a cutaway of the 50 cal to see what actually goes into each individual case. Right here we have our M16 cutaway. Um, you know it's a very familiar um, weapon system you know it's been in production for years and years uh, and people know and recognize the outside of it but what they can't see is you know the internal so here we're really going to be able to break down the engineering that went into the m16 system that's excellent so it's really really cool to be able to see each individual uh, you know part of the system uh, here we have a suppressor this is cut away to show uh, the connection connecting point as far as the baffle stack, uh, and, and the baffle stack are all the the, sli the slats that I see, right? Right. Yes, sir. Uh, so the baffle stack, basically, all it does is just 
um, disturbs the gas coming out of the suppressor. So it slows it down, which ultimately dampens the sound or slows it down enough to where it, it creates a, a quieter decibel restriction. That's really interesting. Or reduction. I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people, they only see like this side of it and they have no idea how it makes it quiet. So this is really cool. Right. Yep. So coming over here, we have, like I said, the basic example of a reloading setup. Uh, this is a single stage press that if the you know person is interested in, in it enough, they're going to be able to actually take uh, an inert blank case and place it in the press, put a bullet on top of the case and seat a bullet so they can kind of take a souvenir. We have a, a loading setup here. What kind of loading support does the USAMU have for our competitors in association with the Custom Firearm Shop? So it's a little bit independent of the Custom Firearm Shop. We work in conjunction, uh, but they have a separate uh, facility that they're gonna be able to work more directly with the shooter's needs. Excellent, and I can only imagine as much support as they provide for our competitors they, they have to be doing a lot of research and development for the warfighter as well, correct? They do. Uh, I would say it's more so for the warfighter at this point than even the shooter. Um, we've had such a long background of working um, with the shooters that we kind of have a more stable platform for reloading processes for the shooters. Uh, for the com combat side, we're always trying to progress and um, you know continue improving ammo uh, across the board. I've seen the 3D printing, now I'm seeing the loading, I'm seeing the insides of, of the rifle. I mean, I'm, I'm getting all these vibes of just the gunsmithing that you guys do and obviously in the army there's gunsmiths as well correct there is correct ah, excellent so we're as far as maybe a little bit into your army story you were recruited from a gunsmithing school correct i was yep. i was uh i got out of the marine corps in 2014 and i wanted to pursue a different type of career and i was able to um, decide to go to colorado school of trades for gunsmithing and i was actually recruited by the marksmanship unit uh, straight into you know, the custom firearm shop for gunsmithing. That's excellent. So a job that you would have had in the civilian world, you're now able to do the same exact thing, but in the army with all the resources that we have. Absolutely. That's awesome. So this part of the display, we're really going to be able to go into the science behind what it takes to, you know, make that long range shot. Okay. So it really, um, you know, describes each individual aspect of what goes into it. So starting at the top, you know, it's, you know, we can break it down into like the units of measurement that we use um, in order to, you know, account for elevation holds and windage holds, um, really going into traje trajectory, um, factoring in muzzle velocity, wind drift. That's really uh, the correction that we're going to be using for various sorts of winds. Um, you know, the energy, that's more of, uh, you know, what we use as far as, um, you know, big army combat type scenarios. Um, so really, yeah, this just dis describes basically the science behind. And so this is, ballistics. I mean, all of this is going into helping our competitors perform well, having a, a very good loaded round to hit the target accurately and consistently. But at the same time, this is this is all R&D as well, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, like we stated before, you know, the, the competitors are always trying to find that one thing uh, to, you know, get themselves to the top. And we can take that really and, and transfer that over to, you know, combat as well. So all of this information that you have, if it's applied properly to the round and you have a really good shooter, then we can get performances like I see right next to you here. Right, exactly. So yeah, we're able to take, you know, a lot of the science behind what it takes to make that long range shot and be able to actually put it on target. So here we have a national record that's been fired by an AMU service rifle shooter. Um, and, you know, coming down here we have 50 yard national match pistol targets. Um, so this is a example kind of going back to what the ca uh, capabilities of the custom firearm shop are able to do. Um, so here is a, a rack grade as issued M17 pistol fired at 50 yards. You can see the extreme spread is seven and a half inches. Oh, wow. So taking uh, that pistol, 
customizing it, you know, making sure parts are fitted precisely, um, and also working with the ammo department. Um, we're able to uh, produce combinations that can produce groups like this. This is an inch and a half group, inch point four group. That is amazing. So those are just a small portion of the capabilities that we're able to, to do at the Army Marksmanship Unit. So I see this record, but it's 600 yards, so that's, that's six football fields that he fired it at right. at this target. Yep. That's amazing. And of Very course, that's shot. a combination of the talents that he has as a shooter, right? but all of the development that you guys have been able to do using your STEM assets in, in the shop right? to make a great rifle, to it's make a, a great round. It's really a combination of, of so many factors being able to all come into you know, play as far as you know, the shooter has to perform, the ammunition has to perform, the gunsmiths have to build the best thing for the shooter. So all of that coming together and producing national records is really what we're all about. It's like a like an F1 racing team where he's the driver, but you guys are the ones that are the mechanics making the fast car. Exactly. And doing all the research for the better parts and stuff. That's exactly. really cool, that's awesome. So this part of the display really goes into you know, the technological side, um, you know, as tech technology, you know, keeps getting more popular. Um, this is a great, um, you know, addition to our display to draw in a crowd. You know, they're used to technology they can throw on the VR headset um, and they can, um, you know, check out our, our simulator. So it'll be a basically a simulator or a trainer, whatever you want to call it to where they can um, plug in different variables, different weapon systems. Um, they can uh, put in different winds, different direction of winds, um, and adjust velocities, you name it. What are you doing now, uh, Sergeant Trevelyan? I am attempting to hit a 15 inch target at a mile. So right now he's shooting at a 15 inch target at one mile. Uh -huh. So right now you can really see um, it's calling for a certain adjustment. So you can see 19.8 uh, on the elevation scale. So that's what he's holding on the reticle. Uh, so that basically means it's gonna drop 19.8 mils of adjustment at oh, one wow. mile. So if we were at a convention, like anyone that was behind the person utilizing the simulator, they'd be able to see this is exactly what Sergeant Javillian's seeing right now. Exactly. That's cool. So he's seeing what's in the headset right now, what we're seeing awesome. on the screens. And I see, yeah, so it has the elevation, the time of flight, uh, the amount of wind that's on the range. That's really awesome. Right. Yep. Cool. And you can do different types of scenarios as far as any, any sorts of training okay. that you'd want to achieve. Sergeant Gossett, thank you so much for giving us a tour of the STEM display, showing the amazing capabilities of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit, custom firearm shop, the loading room, with the 3D printing, the trainers, everything that was possible. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And for everyone out there, now that you know how we make our warrior, what's your warrior? <laughs>